This video will be a very quick introduction to Escher, a web-based tool for visualizing biological pathways. So you can access Escher by visiting escher.github.io, which is the home page. And then on this uh, launch screen, you'll be able to choose a map, which represents the layout of the visualization that you're um, going to look at. And then you can filter those maps by organism, so we can look at the E. coli maps. And you can also choose a model, which represents all the reactions in the organism that you might want to build. Um, for instance, we're going to choose the fatty acid beta oxidation pathway visualization, which was built using this uh, genome scale model of E. coli metabolism. And we're going to choose the builder, which allows us to edit the map, as opposed to the viewer, which would just be for viewing. Click Load Map to view this map. The first thing you'll see is the pathway diagram. On the left, there's a set of uh, there's a button bar for quick access to commonly used features like zooming. Um, this is the pan tool, which allows us to move around the map. There's a select tool, so we can select nodes, and then we could drag those nodes, or we could say edit undo. Uh, to undo any action, we can delete those nodes and also undo that. There's a number of other editing features. We can click the add reaction tool and click anywhere to receive a list of new reactions that we could build. Double click on one to start building, and we can build, quickly build the pathway. There's a little arrow here that you can drag to choose which direction you'd like to build the next reaction. And um, there's also a rotate mode. So if we have selected a set of uh, metabolites, we could enter the rotate mode, choose, drag this little guy to, to center our rotation, and then drag anywhere to rotate that pathway. Finally, there's a text annotation feature. So you can click anywhere and add text annotations edit those text annotations and um, delete those text annotations. Uh, finally, Escher is designed to visualize data sets. So if we go to data and load reaction data, this is all described in the documentation, but we can load an example data set for reaction data and we'll see the fluxes for those um, reactions visualized using colors. And there's also a very detailed settings menu where you can choose uh, new colors. So um, basically everything is editable. Also, there's a quick jump menu. We can jump to, say, the central metabolism map for E. coli, and all of our um, reaction data and settings will be maintained as we switch between pathway maps. Um, you can check out the documentation using this question mark here for more uh, details about the Escher features. And um, Escher is an open source project which is hosted on GitHub. So if you're ever curious or want to contribute to Escher, definitely visit our site. Here's the link to GitHub.